Hello, this is an assessment in transit of a Steinway Model Z that's 115 centimetres high, made in uh, 1969. Uh, this is an assessment in transit. We're moving the piano from A to B and the client would like us to uh, see if there's any work that he's doing. Just a, a, a few blemishes like that one. Another blemish here. A few more slight scrapes. I think they can be uh, made good. Uh, obviously won't be absolutely perfect, but the piano is um, sat in black, so it's not going to be too difficult to match them. The first comment apart from that is that I think the music stand could do with some book holders, especially if you had thicker books like hymn books. Um, but I think here as well, it could do with book holders to uh, the page tends to slide forward. There's, there's a bit of a slope on the music stand. Uh, this music desk is thick enough to fit book holders. Some like uh, some Yamahas, for instance, are plastic and uh, you can't really put book holders on them. Older pianos tend to have book holders on them, um, in fact nearly all the older pianos do, uh, like this caps that we fully restored. Here's a modern Bersendorf which we didn't have book holders but we fitted them on. The other thing immediately noticeable is uh, the key dip's a bit shallow. Now Steinways do have a slightly shallow key dip very often, um, but nowadays most people want 11, this is 11 millimeter key dip measurer, and uh, I set the key dip at 11, it's just that keyboards tend to be 11 plus, and so this a bit, feels a bit shallow if it's not 11. Um, it's not incorrect exactly, but it doesn't quite feel like a lot of musicians want it. Here's a Kawhi Grand with nearly 11 millimeters, an older Beckstein Grand that has 11 millimeters key dip, and the night with uh, about 11 millimetres as well. Having said that, this uh, Wellmar here doesn't have 11 millimetres, about the same as the Steinway, but just feels right. It's, it's got the right feel to the action. So it's partly personal taste, but my feeling is that I'd like that a bit deeper. And the other thing you noticed on here, there's some sideways slack here. Um, uh, and uh, other pianos, that, that's more than average. So I would, we can take that slack up. See those keys are wobbling around a bit. The Steinway Z is unusual in that it opens up like that, sort of as a, a style of the, the 60s. Sometimes they, they put the piano to open up, so like a grand piano lid. There's a tuning record card here. That's really useful, actually. Very nice to have those as feedback for different tuners. You can see that the C is set at 523.3, the same as A440. So that's been kept at concert pitch all the time and tuned look, looks like once or twice a year which is really good um, in fact it's slightly below concert pitch now so uh, I'd, I'd say it's about one beat below but noth nothing serious and the main problem with this lid system is it, this pin needs actually taking out when you tune the piano you can't really tune the piano with the lid like that you could actually put the lid straight up if, if there was room for it or lean it onto something there but uh, it's not very convenient really for the piano tuner the standard lid on a traditional piano opens like that, and most modern pianos do as well. In this case, the traditional piano, the music desk hides inside. It's very common. Another thing that's not very tuner friendly is this needs to be unscrewed as well. You might think that's not important, but uh, all other pianos, they just lift off. Now look at the inside of the piano. That string's obviously been replaced at some stage, but it matches in very well, so it's, so it's a very good replacement. The tuning's not too bad, just slightly flat. The break point there's not too bad. This this uh, Steinway compares well with the main makes that we do of uh, the say, same height, uh, well more and night, but the Steinway Model Z is not a very common piano. The space is good. Getting a bit tubby there, but that's obviously the strings are getting older. Compare the tone of it here with a knight and a Wilma. Here's the knight, same arpeggio C. Uh, much more common, it's one of our preferred makes, knight. And the Wilma, these are similar aged pianos to the Steinway. It's a mellower. rich warm sound that is. So back to the Steinway. It's a more typical Steinway tone. Though as I say it's not a very common piano in the UK anyway. Much more common is this Rosewood Steinway which we've repolished for, for somebody, French polished it. That's typical old older Steinway and uh, as I say more common than the Model Z. And uh, tone in there. This is about 1901, 1902. 
So, so taller piano. And this is a similar style that we fully restored. Let's take the top up for a proper comparison. So it's the same age as time we fully restored. And obviously with new strings, a very rich bass indeed. Well, it's a much taller piano. So that's an assessment in transit of a Steinway Model Z, uh, 1969. It's 115 centimetres tall. And uh, so it's an assessment in transit. Um, we assess pianos as, as we move them, if we take them to our workshop and, and just uh, give them an assessment to see if there's any work needing doing on them. That's a good piano. There are several things I've mentioned in the video. Um, I think as a general comment as well, um, in terms of the value of the piano, it's uh, because it's got the Steinway name on it, it's more valuable than the, the Wellmo and the Knight that I've uh, mentioned. Although I think the quality is very similar. So the price will be greater in terms of resale value and so on. But um, uh, in actual fact, the quality about the same. It's not very common piano in the UK, very uncommon. Um, just give you some sort of idea. There'll be perhaps um, 50, at least 50 Wellmars for every Steinway Model Z. I think more than that, actually. So it's that uncommon. And Knights as well. Well, Knights are very, very common, compar well, comparatively common, so they're very common, but uh, they're nice to be able to resource a reasonable number of them. Sings beautifully. I'd like to have the keys going down a bit further. That might be just personal taste. And they definitely move sideways a bit, so that needs attending to. There's not a lot of regulation apart from that on the piano, and just slightly out of tune. Thank you very much for listening.